Napkins are probably the simplest project to create with your serger, yet when you think of a napkin, you're probably envisioning a very square shape. Instead of following tradition, think of a napkin as being round for easy table decoration. Two fabric shaped circles, 17 to 21 inches in diameter, rolled edge stitching and creative folding are the ingredients for this attractive Christmas tree shaped napkin. The cutting and serging steps are very simple. First, I'll show you how to create a pattern. Using a yardstick compass and a 12 inch ruler, attach the pointed tip tool at the very end of the ruler. The tool tip should align with a zero mark on the ruler. Attach and align the remaining pencil tip tool at the 10 and a half inch mark. This measurement will produce a 21 inch circle. On a length of pattern tracing paper, create a circle. Place the tip in the center of the paper. Simply rotate the pencil tip around the center. Then you can accurately cut out the circle. Choose two coordinating fabric prints. To create a set of four napkins, 21 inches round, purchase a yard and a fourth of each print. Press each fabric and meet the two layers wrong sides together. Pin the pattern to the fabric, positioning it in the far corner allowing for two patterns to fit across the width of the fabric. Now you can pin and cut out four sets of circles. It's important to keep the circle units together. Next I'm going to show you how to use a glue stick to glue and pin base the fabrics. Fold back half of each circle and apply a line of glue. Refold the fabric and finger press. Repeat on the other half of the fabric. The glue dries clear and pins the layers together without the worry of the pins interfering with the blades of your serger. Select your threads. I've chosen Madeira's 40 weight rayon thread. It coordinates with both fabrics and I use it in the upper looper, lower looper and the right needle. Now you can set your serger for a narrow three thread overlock stitch. In general, you're going to remove the left needle so that you're only going to be serging with the right needle. The tensions are going to be balanced for the upper looper and lower looper. Check your owner's manual if you have some specific settings. Some machines have automatic tension settings such as my baby lock. But now you can test a stitch on a scrap of fabric and then it's time to serge your napkins. Align the edge of the fabric next to the blade of the serger. Begin to stitch. For best results, I generally serge off the very edge of the fabric, just trimming the excess fabric yarns that may start to fray. After surging around the circumference of the circle and reaching the starting point, hold the beginning serger tail to the right. When the blade trims off the serger tail, serge two to three stitches, stitching over the initial serged edge. Release the thread tension in the needle by pulling the thread slightly outward, just above the area where the thread feeds into the eye of the needle. Raise the presser foot. The rolled edge will release from the fabric since the tension has been relaxed. Now just serge a few stitches without fabric under the presser foot and clip the threads. Place a drop of fray check on the remaining thread tail. You can press it with the tip of your iron to speed the drying process. Now you can finish serging all four napkins. It will just take minutes. Create the Christmas tree napkin shape by folding the top third of the napkin downward. Then fold in one third to the side. Flip the napkin to the other side and fold in the remaining third. You will create a Christmas tree. It's a great shape. Order your sewing and serging supplies at Nancy's Notions today.